Now, we're gonna go into a different topic. Um, this is the TikTok iceberg. If you don't know what an iceberg is, it's basically at the very top, there's stuff that people are more familiar with, and then towards the bottom, there's stuff that people aren't really too familiar with. And I won't be covering every single topic 100%. I'll kind of just go over it and like tell you the background of it. And one more thing, this video might be a little disturbing, so if you're not really looking forward to that, I would click off. Now I am going to skip over the two top ones because I'm pretty sure that everyone's watching this probably knows what that is, who they are, and like what it's about, so I'll just skip over that for now. Now the first topic is this depression, and it was an 18 year old girl TikToker who basically died of suicide, and I guess they started like, um, like an awareness. Obviously there's more to it, but I'm not going to be covering everything in that topic, so let's go on to the next one. Now, the next one is the hamster cult. A lot of people probably know this. It's like when everyone had the hamster as their profile picture. If you don't know what the hamster is, I'll throw it up on the screen right now. But they basically had this as their profile picture and then just like went to the comments in everyone's videos and just started saying some random stuff. That didn't really even last that long, maybe like a month or two. I'm just gonna cover these both. Stranger Things 3, season three was trending. Obviously, it was just trending. And then the Zack King one, it was just, I'm pretty sure that's the most popular video on TikTok, so. That's really all it needs. So this is where it starts getting a little bit weirder. Tony Lopez pedo accusations. Now, back in August 2020, a 21-year-old Tony Lopez was accused of explicitly messaging an underage girl in a video that went viral. This incident sparked massive backlash across the social media influencer's web presence and led to a formal apology from the TikToker within weeks. Now, obviously, this is really weird because someone like him should not be talking to people like that, but what can you really do about it? Now, onto the J.R. Scotty meat leak. If you don't know who J.R. Scotty is, he's basically the dude who made I never seen two pretty best friends. Anyways, you know, you know what a meat leak is. I don't really have to go into detail on that. He basically just got exposed for recording a video or sending a picture of, you know, his meat. Now, this is where it starts getting, like, pretty bad. So this guy, Ronnie McNutt, he was on Facebook Live and he was like calling his girlfriend or something something happened he ends the call and then he commits suicide on live stream and then people repost it on tiktok and then it's on tiktok obviously this is bad because kids are on tiktok and if they see this on their for you page that's not going to be good now zero don't dot report was basically a tiktok account that would have like pornography on their profile pictures because you can have gifts as your profile pictures and you know, the names don't report because they don't want you to report the account so that you can see it. And a lot of people just started doing this and there's a lot of accounts like this now. Now for Freaky Ghetto and whatever this Earl Quest guy is, and my dog is cute, I couldn't find nothing about them because they're just irrelevant. So we're just going to skip over those and then just go on to the next ones. So the Zachary Latham guy, he was a teenager and he killed his neighbor and I guess he posted it on TikTok. Um, TikTok took it down and now he's arrested. Now, this Ugg Henry guy, like, he was recording, and him and his friends were on a beach, and they found a suitcase, like, that kind of just, like, washed up on, like, this, like these, like, rocks, and they opened up this suitcase, and then they found body parts in it. Now, Bell Tower Bat was basically just, like, this one girl on TikTok that kind of just, like, shared her experience at, like, the, um, the Black Lives Matter protests, and just, like, how it went. Now, there's not really too much content for this clip because it's like just really no point of even playing it. It's just kind of just like how it went. So on to the next one. Now, security 1275, he basically caught like paranormal activity and he was like inside of this like church or something like that, like some like priest thing. And he heard like this little girl talking or something. So he, you know, he went to go investigate it. And this is what happened. Um, okay, I'm back. Door was open again. Hello, security. Hello. Okay. I don't know how the hell they keep opening these. Hello. Yeah. Um. Hey, you need to come out. I'm not playing anymore. Now, I'm not really sure if this is fake or not. You can hear something in the background, like, whenever he's asking, like, hello, you know, the, like, the ghost or whatever will, like, respond, saying, like, hello, or something like that. 
but I really don't think it's fake because it seemed pretty real to me, but obviously nowadays you can edit anything, Photoshop anything, so I'm it, it's really just really hard to tell. Now, a deep fake isn't really that big of a topic. It's basically someone that looks really identical to like a famous person or just someone in general and they like kind of like act like her. Now, Hola Niños was pretty popular like eight months back, a couple months ago. Uh, it's basically like this one like Mexican guy that just goes in like these like tunnels. I forget what they're called, but he screams Hola Niños and chases them out. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, next we have Claire Miller, who is a 14-year-old from Pennsylvania. So, this 14-year-old girl stabbed her older sister that was wheelchair-bound, which obviously, you know, that means she can't, like, move, so. And she posted a video on TikTok, and it was a bloody glove and a stuffed animal in the snow, so, yeah. Now, Nick Camino... Sydney Carpentier and Brendan Curran are all these like ghost hunters, so I'm not even gonna like do anything about them. They, they're they're just like paranormal dudes, just like the security guy. That's really it. Now the 1444 video profile picture, I'm not even gonna explain it. If you really want to search it up, you can, but um, I would be careful. If you really don't want to watch something that's bad, I wouldn't recommend searching it up. Now, I can't find anything on Casper's bitch. This is a ZN guy, 1777. He was only three, and Jackie is not thick. I've searched so much, and I have found nothing. So, on to she is dead, or she dead. Basically, this TikToker died. She was 18. Her name was Gaz Haria, and she died from suicide. And I'm pretty sure she was pretty big, so that's really unfortunate for her fans and family to have to go through that. And Do Not Go In There is just another one of these paranormal TikTok videos that are just like the security guard and all the other ones. Now, this is really messed up. So the crazy cat lady is so, uh, like a woman and she posted videos of her hanging, skinning, killing cats and dogs under her name, Crazy Cat Lady. Now, I'm pretty sure she has been charged for animal cruelty, but she still shared them on TikTok and Twitter. Obviously, I'm not gonna be showing clips or videos or images of this because I don't know why anyone would wanna see that. Now, the last one is fake, fake animal rescues, right? So, they're basically putting like ducks and all these like livestock animals through like, in like mud and oil and like tar and like all this crazy stuff and then recording themselves cleaning them acting like they're actual like good people but they put the animals in that situation so that they can act like they're good people when really they're just setting it up now that's gonna do it for today's video if you want to see more stuff like this please like and subscribe Obviously, we didn't get to the last part because that is just straight up gore and obviously it's just gore like people just post people getting like killed So I don't know why anyone would want to watch that in the first place, but um other than that I hope you have a good day Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace